and automation academy always promise to make things very easy for you to understand here is another example just take an example like uh, one wire is like this and it's cut in two places and then this wire is connected to the light bulb and pos positive and is connected in this way and negative and is directly connected in order to turn on that light what we need to do for sure, we have to close these two to uh, break, break out points from here. So if in the case we close it like this, then light will turn on. So same is the concept here. Like if in the case, you can see, for example, if one is closed and another is not closed, still light will not turn on. So that's the reason, that's the same concept we're going to use for understanding all sorry and logic here so let's go and implement and logic here so uh, if I, I remove that I'll just press take this i0.0 .0, put it here like this and I take another input i0.1 0 .1, 0 0.1 and that's 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 that something is going wrong here but it's okay now yeah okay i 0 0.1 and then we got an output so we we take two inputs we have taken an assumption if both inputs go should be high then we will get an output that's the condition that we use to check like if we want multiple conditions to be true in order to run some device then we can use AND operation and in AND you know like if both inputs are high that's the time only when you will get an output so same thing we will try by simulation here you will see and you probably gonna love that so uh, we will go to the program here and I think simulator is already running so we can directly download if in the case Make sure, like, if in the case CPU is running, don't try to download anything. Otherwise, you will get some abuses from PLC. See that? I will show you. Here we go. So you get an error. So now, if in the case you just turn off the CPU, just made may just change the stop mode, and now if you go and try to download you will see a different result. So here we go. If in the case I will try to download it from here, now it will download. So in AND condition, what we assume, uh, I want this glasses to be on so that I can visualize there. So if in the case one input is high, we will not get our output. If we both are high, then we are getting output. You can see Q0.0 here also high. So that's the end operation. Now move towards slide back and uh, then we will talk about now R operation. Or in R operation, you take an example like we have light and we take, you know, the connection is parallel. Like we have a cut up points, but the cut up points are in parallel. So now in that case, if any one of this path will be closed then we will get an output like for example even if we this one is closed or this one is closed or both are closed in that condition we will get an output so in that condition if we are get getting any one of this particular path to be uh, you can say like uh, closed then we will get an output or we, we will we will see light is on so here is the example that we can also implement here in the so we we will now try to program that so what we will do we will take another input here i0.1 here and then i0.0 right over here so let's see how it works so I0.0 is there and we will just try to 
take this round up so what we will do we will just click here and click on this one it will take it up like that so now we have taken two inputs in in parallel so we this is actually the r operation in r operation what are you talking about if any one condition matched if any one signal is high we will get an output let's see how it goes on when we will try to download it so uh, that's the program interface here we go I'm gonna download the program and just take a while and then I'll go to the run and let's see and this glasses need to be on if any one of it is high we are getting output because now if in the case both are high we will get an output either like for example either this one is high we will get an output or this one is high we will get an output so we need one in it input to be high to get an output in our condition that's something we are just now like uh, we are trying to only focus on that particular stuff how it works later on we will apply the same information in industrial projects stay watching the videos on IT and Automation Academy's uh, YouTube channel and share with friends because a lot of people are looking for the skills and they they if they cannot pay for the highly paid courses so I'm just making for this cost to help them out to fulfill their dreams to I know these course this is up to now it's very basic but it's for those people who are new to industry and they want to learn all that thank you very much thank you very much for watching this video if you like it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel for subscribing all you have to do is you have to come on this subscribe button right over here click on that and you are not done yet because you have to put on notification here send me all notification for this channel and then save by this way you will not miss any video from IT and Automation Academy thanks all who is joining that thank you very much bye